Applied behavior analysis is a method in which we use the principles of behavior to improve socially significant behavior. Um, it's a scientific approach to understanding behavior involving the focus on how behaviors are affected by the things around them, um, which is what we call the environment. And it has us ask how to, um, you know, how can we manipulate the environment to improve socially significant behaviors and potentially decrease behaviors that are not socially significant. Um, it also gives us a way to really break down learning and ensure that the most effective learning is taking place. So, for example, um, using data analysis, we can see progress and determine whether the strategy we are currently using is or is not the most effective one for that particular child. Um, so then when it comes to um, applied behavior analysis not being personal, um, it's instead evidence-based, which means that everything done in the field should rely on research and be supported by evidence. Um, we're not just improving behaviors that we want to see, but ones that have been deemed socially significant and vital to functioning, as well as ones that improve the lives of those receiving therapy. Um, for example, programs like self-dressing allow a person to be more autonomous and therefore not have to rely so much on other people for basic living, um, which improves their quality of life. Um, another example would be increasing instances of requesting help, which helps a student gain um, access to what he or she needs and prevents safety issues when a child cannot ask for help. Uh, practicing ABA is highly regulated. Um, we have an ethical compliance code that ensures ethical treatment of our clients. Um, this code specifies that despite the many principles of ABA, we must rely uh, on positive reinforcement before using any punishment techniques. Um, so, for example, if we are increasing someone's food repertoire, we must first attempt to reinforce successive approximations of taking a bite by adding reinforcers to the situation before moving on to alternative treatment techniques like removing access to preferred items unless the behavior occurs. Um, so that is basically ABA in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.